And apparently that makes Dominican. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, me too. Uh, you know, it's hard being black and Hispanic, you know, every single time I tell a woman I live uptown, she automatically assumes I'm in the Heights. You know what I mean? She starts asking me dumb questions like, hey, where's Mama Wala Cafe? What's the difference between my student and my dude? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Actually, that's okay. No, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican from the Bronx, and so my favorite way to speak Spanish is not at all. So, no, I'm kidding. Alright, so that's not true. So I can order food, I can talk dirty, and I can get yelled at by my mother. Uh, if you ask her, I personally identify as a mama. I don't know what that is either, guys. I thought, I thought you could help me. And apparently, I'm, I always live in the calle, and I'm like, come on, bitch, you've been to my house. Like, I live in the Bronx. And like, you know, I, sound, I go through life sounding really white, and I can't help it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's really, really hard. Like, I, I do it to myself. Like, I drink Fiji water. I love that shit. But like, I'm from the Bronx, so I drink Essentia so I don't get jumped. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know what it is, sounding so white? Like, I look like, I sound like Tom Hanks, but I look like Suge Knight. <laughs> actually, actually, I, I look more like Jordan Peele cosplaying as Suge Knight. So, so I'm not even really Suge Knight, I'm sweet and low. Um, I've been into astrology lately. Uh, any guy, anybody been reading that bird chart? Yeah? Awesome, I'll tell you about mine. Um, I'm a Bronx dude, but I'm a ch chopped cheese rising. <laughs> But my moon, my moon is uh, beef and broccoli, not the food, the Timberland. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're. Yeah, yeah I feel so good. <laughs> no, I like, I really enjoy like the crowd control. Honestly, it's just fucking. Watch one more time. You're. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so like, um, I had a white dad growing up. If you couldn't tell by my voice. And um, I thought having a white dad was gonna slap, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was gonna learn, like, you know, what um, green bean casserole was finally. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was gonna get a, a really racist grandma, but it's okay because she's worth money. But what I got was a Vietnam hippie. You know what I'm saying? So he taught me very confusing lessons. He said things like, love who you love, but don't be a fag. <laughs> don't worry, I know, it's really a harsh language. God canceled him like six years ago, so it's, it's all right. It's okay. That's how I deal with it, guys, don't worry about it. Anyway, and you know, he taught me a lot, obviously, as my father, and uh, he helped me embrace other people with no problem. He even get, got me comfortable with um, the naked body. So uh, that being said, if I had to describe my dad's dick, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you ever seen a baby holding an apple? Yeah? No, I want that image in your head, because I have to live with it my whole life. Okay? All right, so anyway, I, after my dad passed, right, we're going through his things and reading off his birth certificate. And on it says, February 10th, 1945, and he gets to his race, it says Negro. It turns out my stepdad was black. And I was like, oh shit, that's crazy. That explains the baby holding the apple. Hey, yeah, 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 go see, the white people always get that fucking joke. <laughs> Actually, you know, so my favorite thing to do in this world is to make white people uncomfortable with the N-word. You know what I'm saying? It's like the mixture of cringe and frustration in your face that, like, makes me happy. It's like the perfect cop to watch niggas. Like, look at him, so look at him, man, I'm comfortable. <laughs> but, like, you know, from a business standpoint, I understand. You know what I'm saying? You keep hearing your creator's head use over and over and over again. It's like, I have other shit. Like brunch, <laughs> gentrification, <laughs> incest porn. <laughs> Speaking of incest porn, I had a hot sister growing up. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, bro, it'll get better. <laughs> um, and you know what's funny? Like, she, my sister was so hot that incest porn made sense. You know what I'm saying? She'd come home thick as fuck in her volleyball outfit after school, saying, hey, big brother, can you help me with my homework? And I'm like, get away from me. I'm not camera ready. <laughs> Plus my mom sold it from last time. Anyway, my name is Anthony Vines. There you go, yeah? <laughs> Keep it going for Anthony, clap for Anthony. Uh, I know some of you were waiting on him to finish describing his dad's dick, but he, he didn't, he just left. Uh, okay, we got a few more comments, about five or six more, so uh, you guys are doing a great job. Keep that energy up. Up next, very funny guy, he's from D.C. and Georgia somehow, that's what he told me. Clap for Tyrez, everybody, clap for Tyrez. <laughs> Sure. All right. Yeah. Great. Hello, 
Oh, what's up? I'm at PMB. I used to get that too. All the rest of the people are the same. That's what they tell us. What it do? Let me take this off. Remember when taking off your mask? I was like burning the damn Bible. Remember that? That nigga was like, all right, we're here. How y'all doing? This is good. Look at some black people, thank goodness. I, I get more pop, my afro get bigger the more black people know. <laughs> I got I got so I gotta control myself trying to say crazy things. <sighs> Alright, cool. Whatever. Alright. What type of black person am I? I don't know. I don't, I'm not taking that test. I don't know. It's gonna take me a day and a half to read it. It's gonna, it's gonna like the back of a, a soda with all the damn ingredients. You got an ancestry report? Anybody in here? No? Nah? Yeah, black people don't trust you. And white people have all the information they need. <laughs> I'm not jealous at all, I promise. Nah, you got everything. Your history is intact. You don't need it. You're good, man. I don't know. Hey, quick side note, how come, when did we start becoming millennials? No, you know what they call us now? POC. Stop telling me, stop tapping me on the shoulder. Hey, you, you're a, I'm like, all right. Like, ask your parents when they start calling them the African Americans. They don't know. This is how it start right here. We're gonna be 50 years old. There were eight POCs there. That's how kids gonna be talking about. Off topic, I'm just saying. Good Lord, man. Good, good Lord. Oh man, what type of black person am I? Uh, Eminem is in my top five. Rock, he's in there. Uh, that's cute, you know, that's good. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't hand out them damn cookout invitations. That shit don't exist to me. I, I don't know you. I'm just going because you dance good over music I like. You get to come to my house. No, if I know you can come on, but I'm not having a stranger to my house just because they can dance good. That's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I don't know. America is a. Uh, I tell you what. True non-presence will be shown when America can handle the, the, the extreme black personalities. Like, really? You think? Anybody can hang out with Will Smith. That's not hard. Anybody can have coffee with Oprah and sit out in her garden. Go to Boosie's estate. Go to Boosie's estate. Go to the Boosie Bash and let me know if you can really, if you can not call the police. Then you can, you know what I'm saying? It's like everybody, anybody has ever played Mortal Kombat? Okay, remember that ladder? You got to fight your way to the top. That's black people right there. Okay, Will Smith. That's like learning that the square button is the punch button. Like, you know what that means. But when you start getting into the, you know, the Yeezys, then you start, hey, I'm just saying. Say, if you can go shoe shopping with Kanye, you are not a racist. Maybe my standards are too low, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man, uh, there's so many things that I want for black people uh, for free. Because uh, we deserve it. <laughs> but no, really, though, I just, my imagination runs wild. Remember that lady, Rachel Dillazow? She got because she had tight cornrows and a big nose. She got to pretend to be black for a year. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was terrible. I wish I could get like some small reparations. Like maybe Elon Musk this whole time. Maybe maybe this whole time, just a black dude this whole time. And all the scientific discoveries were to help us escape in space. The black people, black space, black space is what I call it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be pulled over in the atmosphere for sure. We, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Bezos and that blue dick rocket will fucking <laughs> space force. <laughs> That's all a joke. I was, look, you know how to look. look when well, I was walking out town school, I'm not from here. I am from those many places that guy mentioned. But, but let's say like I'm walking out town square and I see this damn billboard and I'm like, okay, they always like trying to diversity this, diversity that. Remember the fairy godmother of Cinderella? Oh shit. Well, he's been re well, she's been replaced with a nigga with lip gloss. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's not there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm like, all right, I don't want no more black Spider Mans and black Batmans. Give me something. Be bold. That is kind of bold. But I want. <laughs> Convince myself, like, the shine, look, all the damn lights in Times Square, the shiniest thing was that man's lips. Why? I'm like, come on, man, they like polished them joints up. 
bowling balls, man. But look, you can give us something cool, okay? You can give us, I don't know, who is that? I said, you want Miles Davis. Man, you, uh-oh. Oh, don't do it. I don't, I don't have much time. If this was my shit, it would be over for you. But, I gotta go, I gotta keep going. So, back to the, look, sir. I, 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 sir. No, I, I can't make fun of you. No one can see what you look like. So none of my like this. But you have a, a very interesting look. <laughs> now, I, look, I'll tell you what I will be happy with. I will be happy if I could get, like, be bold. You can give us, like, a black Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> That'd be cool. You can make fun of R. Kelly, bro. I care. I don't, I don't care. I would have got away with it if I wasn't meddling with us. <laughs> I have trouble finishing that line because I'm a good person, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with this. Thank you all. Thank you all. Club in the Bronx. Clap for Vaughn Edwards, everybody. Yeah. You guys, clap a little motherfucking harder for yourself, you guys. You know, all the white students, people going ahead. Good night tonight. I'm everywhere out this bitch, man. Oh, welcome oh, back, shit. right? I remember you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you for all the white people in the front. I appreciate you. The phone's on the left, by the way. Yeah, see, I ain't steal it. You are. Because, you know, it's around that time. People start stealing shit and making it their own. But I'm not an iPhone guy because the government, listen, I'm a black guy with shoulders. They already on my ass. I don't need iPhone energy. iPhone energy is basically a trap. Anybody with an iPhone, right? She got an iPhone? You, you can't hide from her. Exactly, tell them. You can't hide from her. I'm letting you know that right now. So don't lie. No, you're looking at, I'm telling, please don't lie. That's, hey, hey, babe. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here at this bar, uh, Moonrise Bar with the brothers. Yeah, we over yeah. here shooting darts. Really? Okay. <laughs> Once she says that, okay. Don't go home. <laughs> Respectfully, don't go home. You look, you look strong, but I'm telling you. <laughs> Yeah. See, at least you know. At least he knows. He's like, nah, I'm pussy as fuck. Bro. I got a good 401k. That's why she with me. That's what's up. So I appreciate it. This is uh, the favorite time of my year. Not Thanksgiving. Not colonizers. Cel sorry, guys. Not colonizers. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, oh, you know what, ma'am? I'm sorry, but yeah, they lied. All right? Yeah, Columbus ain't fine shit. There was like a million people over here when we got here. <laughs> yeah. He was like, what in the fourth score? Yeah. yeah, we was already over here. We was playing basketball when he found us. <laughs> he was like, who is, who is this? What do you want to play? <laughs> Just sit over there. You got next. That's really how basketball got started because, you know, it was as old as they say, like in the Mayans tradition. Like, really, they was throwing a pigskin ball through a hoop of gold, solid fucking gold. Now, me personally, I couldn't have been around in those days. I totally would have stole that fucking hoop. <laughs> I would have been that guy, oh my God, we have no hoops. Who is taking it? I could have been walking around like, I don't know who taking it. Blink, blink, I don't know who taking it. Bro. I'm here, dripping in leopard and jag, baby. I'm here with it, you understand? That's how I'm doing it. What's up, Kang, I see you. Uh, you're a little too grown to be drinking that bear claw, though. You, you got a lot of man energy. Yeah, my man right there with the locks, I see you. With the salt and pepper here. Oh my God. Yeah, bro. Um, listen, there's certain things as men that we should not do. And I think drinking a bear claw, can you say that? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just no, think no, drinking no. I think it's drinking a, no, 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 fuck that, don't double fist it, oh, no, bullshit, that was it, you're lying, I saw you, I sat right there and watched your ass for five minutes, you're trying to make up for your friend, don't be I see it, I see it, it's okay, it's cool, I see it, it's cool, I know you're not, I was drinking this thing, you were in here with a tan, you were in here with a tan stocking cap, 
I know you're not scheduled. <laughs> I, in fact, I want to know what you doing after this so I don't be on your list. You know what I mean? That's what I want to know. It's gold. Not can't. Gold is the shit. I know. We here. We here. We here. You're not cooking this thing, good, huh? No. Please don't. I don't know what you're going to jump in then. There's some shit cooking in here. Don't put nothing in that potato salad. Who making potato salad? <laughs> All right, the ones laughing is making it. Let's uh, <laughs> let's not do that, guys. No potato salad this year. I'm on a no potato strike. If I see potato salad come to my house, I'm tossing it immediately in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, fuck that. We don't need it. First of all, all the carbs. That's one, mm -hmm. right? Because you want to be summer body ready. You, you look like you got abs. That's why I should put you, right? <laughs> We don't need that. And then, ah, this whole thing with like raisins and potato salad. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Like, why is that even a thing? Raisins and potato salad. It's super weird. Like, I don't understand. Raisins and potato salad is crazy. But let me tell you something. Sweet potato pie is one of my favorite things. The best sweet potato pie you're ever going to get. And it's not just me and you have sweet potato pie color on it. The best sweet potato pie. You gotta get it made by the old black lady with the yams. Now understand, hold on, ladies, because you don't know where I'm going with this. Guys, what is yams? You know. Yams is that old. The old ladies with the yams, that she 58, but her yams is 28. <laughs> Those are the women that make the best fucking sweet potato pie. Change your life. God bless Miss Charles. <laughs> I fuck shit out of Miss Charles. <laughs> and I said it. All right. I will buy two of them pies. I will buy two of them damn pies and invite Miss Charles in for a Chardonnay. Come here, baby. Chardonnay. <laughs> now, I don't not for Christmas. I got you, girl. That's the best thing you can tell your lady on Christmas. I don't need nothing for Christmas. I got you, girl. Watch how fast you get that guacamole 8,000. sauce. <laughs> She's gonna tell everybody in her family. No, he didn't want it. He said that was his gift. <laughs> Watch the rest of your year be a, oh my God, it's so beautiful. How many dads we got in here? Clap for your dad. I'm gonna let that, yeah, I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna move right along. <laughs> trash. Because if I said clap if you're a mom, especially this world right here, all the Latinos are laughing. You know, fuck it. We're just gonna like, hey, listen, folks, this is what I want to tell you. I'm an advocate for men. Ladies, can y'all buy us some good ass gifts this year, please? No socks, no sweaters. I'm gonna tell you what we want. Another girl and a blowjob. That's Just do it. No, listen, hear me out. Look at me, queen. Do it. <laughs> Please. It's once a year. It's once a year. That's all we need. All right? It's okay. It's, listen, it's, 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 he wants one. He's got right in the hoodie. He's like, yeah, I want that shit. I don't know how to ask for it. I just told you how to do it. All right, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'm a little hot. Got it. I'm going to that one. Another job. That's the best one. You like you not 
pay you enough. I'm gonna give them a job, right? But then they like, I'm gonna pay you more. I'm gonna give you a little promotion. Oh, nigga, you know what I'm talking about. My nigga, he raised his eyes. Okay. I actually recently got a promotion. Shout out to any, did anybody else get a promotion recently? You know what? It wasn't nothing else. Here's the worst part. What, what happens when you get a promotion, right? Uh, 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 an hour after you get that direct deposit. <laughs> you like, fuck this job. <laughs> take the promotion, right, right, right. They also say, you know what, I want you to be a manager. You're like, oh, bitch, I'm a boss. Now, nah, let me tell you something. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, hold up now. Let me tell you something, okay. Uh, because I got to give some previous content. My old boss was a white woman. She smoked a lot of weed, which I like. I like that part. Uh, but she was on some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? She always wanted me to be like the house nigga over there. I was like, nigga, what the fuck? Let me shine, bitch. I'm about to go in court, you know? A lot of house nigga shit, a lot of house nigga shit. So I said, bitch, tap it I'm done with your ass. They give me a motherfucking raise, bitch. I'm raising the fuck up out of here, bitch. Right, right, right. Sis, no, she know Tabitha, okay? But respectfully, if you do see Tabitha, tell that bitch I got some words. I still, I'm still mad about how the way shit ended, but whatever, right? So whatever. So now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be a manager. But now here's the thing about being a manager, you know? You realize there's a lot of dickheads in the world. Yeah. And they seem to all apply to work under you. So you got the dickhead squad with you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Dickhead squad, dickhead squad. I'm like, nigga, how did we get this many terrible motherfuckers to come in this job? What the fuck was in our goddamn Indeed goddamn uh, dickheads only? What the fuck? Uh, and the worst part about it is because you have a little staff now, you're forced to pretend like you give a fuck about the job. Right? No, no, no. You, no and, and I mean, listen, you got to put the, the I, I, listen, I know I got a couple white people. Even some of the white people are going to sound this professional. No, listen, boy. You ready? So here's what you're gonna do. You can't, even though you wanna be like, nigga, I'm gonna bust you with your shit. I'm fucking tired of your dumb ass. Dumb bitch, dumb bitch, dumb bitch. Oh! I know that. It happened to me today. It literally happened to me today. I'm driving to work. I just got fully staffed. I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? You're like, bitch, look at me. I'm money. I'm looking like money. I got a comedy show later. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I made it. Fully staffed, right? As I'm driving, I swear to God, I'm five minutes from work. And my assistant gonna talk about, oh, I have to, I gotta call out due to mental, uh, mental issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in that moment, you think to yourself, like, I can't be a fucking asshole, right? And like, well, bitch, what mental issues? Is this some serious shit? Are you ever gonna be back at work, bitch? I need to know. Because, bitch, if you got some fucking people in your head, uh, I should know that now. Bitch, you should've said that at the motherfucking, you know what, we're not gonna do this. <laughs> So I literally was like, and, and you know what, that's the type of shit, especially as a manager, because a couple of years as a manager. So you know, when you gotta deal with some bullshit, you gotta thank God for the car ride. I know a couple of you guys, you wait, I mean, what are we, uh, are we car riders? Anybody drive cars? Yeah. Okay, okay, it was like about five people in this motherfucker. So, uh, on a train ride? Uh, yeah. On a train ride, yeah. I'm a Queens girl, so we still very, uh, we still very transportation in the corner. <laughs> Uh, but you know what, that, that train ride you put on that motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, whatever your music is, whatever, you start thinking about, right, what the fuck am I gonna say to this dumb bitch, okay? Mental health issue, what the fuck are you crazy, man? What the fuck, let's go. Bitch, it's, it's literally 30 minutes before you start. Bitch, I'm going through some mental health issues right now, bitch, what? Uh, but what came out was, you know what? Um, I just wanna let you know I'm here for you. Okay? <laughs> But what really fucks it up is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I recently moved out. You know what I'm saying? So now, yeah, how I'm saying, grown man, we call woman thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Uh, my roommate is my best friend. Uh, I'm gonna live by myself, bitch. What the fuck? My daddy walk up? How much of a raise did they give me, bitch? Not that much. Not that much. So now I'm living with my best friend. It's like the, it's like the black version of Will and Grace. You ever seen that? You ever seen Will and Grace? I've never seen it, but people keep telling us that we like 
I like Willow Green. I think she has red hair. Yeah. Like a little afro like this too. Look at that. It feels nice like a cotton bowl. <laughs> but no, so honestly, working, living with a, you know, living with my best friend, that's been my best friend for 22 years. Can you believe that shit? But you know what? You, and let me tell you, because I know, because y'all four years, I'm four years in with my boyfriend. Uh, let, let me preach it real quick. I'm going to have to preach it to y'all, because you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? How long you guys been together? Oh, he looked at me. She, first of all, she looked at me, she was like, ma'am, how much you going to say? Because I don't know. <laughs> and her, I looked at him like, nigga, I don't know. Don't worry, sister. Um, but the thing about being in a long-term relationship, right, you, it's like you have your peaks and valleys. Right? It's like, oh my God, what is amazing. You're like, I'm on cocaine. This nigga's beautiful. <laughs> Clean him. <laughs> but when you in that motherfucking valley. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, I gotta put this down. <laughs> that was an actual fight that me and my husband. because that's the Will of Grace reference, he's gay. Uh, when we in the, when we in the valley, I swear to God, one day I was, I was really in the rush with my boyfriend. I was like, man, fuck you, nigga. I'm really done with you. Seriously, this is the time. I'm really done. This is some bullshit. I'm tired of shit. Leave, okay? Nigga left, right? And wow, he didn't call me. Like, fuck, <laughs> nigga, man. Uh, no, uh, 
doesn't make sense. I don't even fucking talk about Como. I don't feel like I have a whole Italian accent. Everything. It was gonna sound like Mario, you know, because the new Mario movie's coming out. But I don't really feel like sleeping with the fishes tonight. <laughs> See, I could have done that with an Italian accent, but my only Italian accent that I know is Mario. It's like I could have been sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> <That's, yeah. laughs> But no, I loved New Hampshire, I'm not gonna lie, I really did. I loved it, it was a beautiful state, um, a lot of Starbucks out there, beautiful state. Um, what I didn't love is having to tell people that I was from the Bronx, uh, because any time that I did, uh, they would always take like two steps back and like, touch the Bronx. <laughs> and I found that hella disrespectful because it's like, you really think that you're stronger than me? <laughs> And anytime like I told her from the uh, that I was from the Bronx, I always heard the same three things, you know? It was like uh, uh, oh, it was like, oh my gosh, I hear it's really dangerous out there. You must have had a rough childhood. Please don't rob me. It was crazy. Like I ended up being like the spokesperson for the Bronx up in New Hampshire. And I was like the hood version of Gandhi. I was like, it's not us blacks you need to worry about. It's those damn Indians. <laughs> if you read up on Gandhi, you would know that he's very racist. Up until the age of 50, fun facts. And then somebody, the other day, I told him, I told him that fun that facts. And they were like, oh, that's good that he changed his life around. I was like, yeah, but at 50. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, but at least he turned it around. And I was like, oh, perfect. I got 24 more years. <laughs> it's the excuse. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, and I spent eight years in New Hampshire. I'm gonna keep talking about New Hampshire until I get every single one of you to move up there. <laughs> but no, I, I spent eight years outside of New York, and when I came back, I kind of realized that New York really isn't that bad. Like, they're just being super dramatic. Like, we have like 14 Starbucks in the Bronx, okay? Yeah. Eight, it's not that bad. Uh, another fun fact about the Bronx, it's the only city where you guys would put the before it for it to make sense. Now think about it. The Queens, the Manhattan, the Brooklyn. Sounds fucking stupid. The Bronx, you know? Only things with authority have the before it. You know, the sun, the moon, the earth, the rock, the Beatles. White people laugh at that. Black people don't. That one was more for me. A lot of shit was shutting down, guys, because of the pandemic. A lot of shit's been coming down. Uh, a lot of shit's been shutting down. Uh, restaurants, movie theaters, bowling alleys, my girlfriend, anytime I raise my voice. <laughs> uh, but I was especially upset about the bowling alleys, you know? Because I picked up bowling right as the pandemic started. And I don't know, we have any bowlers in the room? Bowlers, bowlers, yeah, in high school. Somewhere. Do you feel empowered to bowl? <coughs> you feel ashamed? That's interesting. You should, no, no, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll convince you to fucking bowl. I got you, I got you. I got you. I got you. Huh? We get those strikes? Is that like a sexual reference? <laughs> sure, oh, we'll take it. <laughs> but no, I did, like, uh, I love bowling. Like, when I picked it up, it was, it was a beautiful, it was beautiful, and I haven't enjoyed a sport this much since uh, I picked up pool at the age of 12. And I don't know if anybody here plays pool, but I loved pool so fucking much. Like, I loved it. Like, it was just something about it. Like, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy baseball, basketball, jerking off, but <laughs> there was just something about pool that I just genuinely enjoyed, you know? Uh, like, I love that you can think five steps ahead of your opponent. Uh, I love that you can put them in like, uncomfortable positions, you know? But, like, there was just something about pool that, as a late, you know, I, I've noticed, like, I find the game to be a little bit racist, you know? Like, it's just a white ball telling all the other color balls what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and there's all these different colors too, you know? There's a green one, there's a red one, there's a yellow one, there's a black one. Solids and stripes, each of them assigned a number eerily resembling prison jumpsuits. <laughs> it's a fucked up game. It is. And it gets even worse. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played pool at, like, at bars, but like, you know when you hit the ball in the pocket and they like come, like, come rolling down and shit? There's segregation in that. <laughs> you guys ever know? Like the colored balls go to this big wide open field on one side, and the white ball goes on the other side in this little tight little cubby. You guys aren't with me on that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm blowing your mind or if you guys are like, this guy's on fucking crack right now. <laughs> but it gets worse, yo. It gets, I smoke a lot of weed, by the way. <laughs> so, but it gets worse, like, like, the white ball can hit them, the colored balls can't hit back. No word. <laughs> right? 
The white ball can scratch, can fuck up, can make a mistake, and still start over. Yo. <laughs> this is a fucked up shit, yo. <laughs> Oh my god. I haven't figured out what the worst part about the game is yet. Like, I don't know if it's that we saved the black ball for last. You know? I don't know if it's that. Like, imagine the PTSD, the social anxiety of that black ball watching his colored counterparts get knocked down one by one, ball by ball, the entire game up until it's his turn. Think about it. Imagine the social anxiety he must face every day living as a black ball on, on a table. You know? I don't know, I haven't figured out if that's the worst part about the game or if that the ball's clacking sounds a lot like a whip cracking. <laughs> oh shit, word! Y'all can't even look at me for crazy because y'all fucking see that shit too! <laughs> y'all gonna go home and y'all gonna go to work tomorrow yo, did you fucking know that pool is racist, yo? <laughs> but uh, it, it's alright. Uh, okay, I know I told you I was gonna convince you about bowling. I'm, I'm gonna save you guys like the long explanation about bowling, but I just felt empowered when I bowled, okay? Like, it was just something about it. Like, like I said, to put it simply, I get to take this big black ball <laughs> and I get to throw it down the lane as hard as I can to knock down these white pins with rednecks. <laughs> just something about it. <laughs> so thank you. Did I get the light, by the way? Okay, yeah. listen, my name is Juan Rosario. You guys have been fantastic. <laughs> She performs here all the time. She's a club favorite. Clap for Victoria Arnstein, everybody. Oh, guys, please have a seat. I, I get so overwhelmed by these standing ovations. Really, sit down. On my recording, that's what it appears. It's like, wow, you got a standing ovation. They don't know. My recording doesn't know. People approach me all the time as a comic. I don't know what it is. Does anybody else get that? People just approach you out of nowhere. Somebody just came up to me the other day and she said, I know you. And I'm like, I know. This fame thing, it's starting. <laughs> she said, yeah, you were just telling that woman over at Walgreens the other day, right? Listen, fame is fame, you know? It doesn't matter how you get it. I realize I look like every bitch that's ever complained to a manager. I know. Yeah. But in my defense, that toothpaste was on sale, all right? And I'm a Jew. <laughs> Anybody else here chosen? <laughs> that's right. That's fucking right. You know, I saw I saw an ad for an art, uh, an ad that said, uh, "Best exterminator since Hitler." What? <laughs> As a Jew, I was horrified. But as a consumer. <laughs> that's a really good experiment. Why? <laughs> <Bye. laughs> All right. Uh, too soon? All right. You know what? Now, Hitler, thought, Hitler thought that he was so great. You know, he wasn't first. He wasn't second. He was third fucking rock, okay? Such a snob. You guys didn't get that. The Jews laugh at that. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I just celebrated a 22 year wedding anniversary, you guys. Whoa. I know. It's fucking crazy, right? Who the fuck does that? Oh, it was such a special anniversary. My husband took me to this super. And, <laughs> I've been telling that joke for seven fucking years. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't just any supermarket, it was fucking Whole Foods, so I'm fucking crushing it. Thank you. Uh, my husband's seven years younger than I am. Thank you, thank you. I don't have a joke for that, I just want to let you know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my husband, um, out of nowhere, you know, in bed, he tells me, we're laying around, he goes, I really love adventure. You know, I want to go hiking in all different places all over the world. I love the element of surprise. So I pushed him off the bed. <laughs> that offered everything. It was free, and he fucking didn't have to leave home. Who's the best wife ever? <laughs> <And then we, laughs> I like the delayed reaction. So then we had um, we had a fight, right? And we had a fight, and then we had makeup sex. Everybody knows about the makeup sex. It's fun, right? Makeup sex is great. Then after the makeup sex, yeah, I have time to think about what the fuck he said. <laughs> so I'm like, what did you mean 
mean by my friend was better at cooking? Like, what did you mean by that? He said, like, don't, don't read too into it, honey. It's, it's good. We're all good now. I go, no, no, no. <laughs> now I hate my husband and my fucking friend. <laughs> and, you know, I can't fucking have, you know, make up sex with my friend. Again. Can't do that. <laughs> My friend, uh, she called me up the other day, and she's like, oh man, I can't believe it. I go, calm down, what's the matter? She goes, I cheated on my husband. I go, oh my God. One minute, was that on Sunday? She goes, yeah, it was on Sunday. I go, that's okay, it was your cheat day. Fucking Sunday. <laughs> you thought it was with my husband, right? I know. I have a friend, she's a prostitute. She doesn't call herself a prostitute, but she's a fucking prostitute. I, listen, I mean, these guys are paying for her every fucking night. They're having dinner with her. She's having sex with them. Don't tell me that's not a fucking prostitute. And I'm very jealous because I'm married and I only have one fucking client, all right? <sighs> My husband goes away for long periods at a time. It's starting to get to me. I'm starting to talk to myself. So much so that I finally went to go see a doctor, you know, just to get my, um, my body felt up. <laughs> at least he said he was a doctor. He was wearing white. He was at a party. The point is, it's not cheating with the doctor. Ladies, take notes. And I got very lucky, too, because it was a very thorough examination. For little to no coverage, so I'm going back on Tuesday. It's important to take care of your health is my message here. I can't go to my old doctor anymore. Last time I went, he wanted to, I wanted to save time, so I stripped down to nothing. He was my eye doctor, but uh, <laughs> he would never be too thorough. Plus, the lighting was better in the waiting room. That's it. Uh, where are my feminists at? I want to hear it from my feminists. Scream out. That guy? All right. I'm not going to lie, feminists. You're fucking up my shit, all right? <laughs> my husband's starting to think we're equal now. I'm so much fucking more superior than he is, you know? <laughs> yeah, like lately he's been asking me to do this thing called, um, work. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm like, what do I need you for? He says, I feel like all day, every day, all I do is work for you. That's all I do is work for you. I said, oh my God, honey. You're right, tick tock, no prenup. Who said you could talk to me this long? Wrap that shit up, it's not break time. <laughs> a woman came up to me after the show once, she goes, don't you wanna work and make your own money? <laughs> I said, no, I want my husband to work and make my own money. <laughs> she goes, don't you wanna contribute to the world? I said, what do you do? She goes, I'm a cake decorator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you contribute to obesity and diabetes? You know what, I have three kids in the back that's who do you think they're calling a time of war? Quick, get the cake decorated. Now they're calling it. I hate kids. Not everybody, it's just mine. Very clingy and expensive. You know, I have to pay for everything with the money my husband gives me. I have to pay for their food. I have to pay for their violin lessons. I have to pay other children to play with them. I'm kidding, I don't play violin. <laughs> Uh, my friends give me a hard time because I give my kids an eating disorder, you know, to save money. <laughs> it's a good tip! It's a good tip! Not the kind of eating disorder where they throw up their food and that's a waste of food and money. I'm a Jewish mother, I would never do that. The kind where I tell them they're fat all the time they don't eat dinner and that shit adds up and there's a Porsche out there with my name on it. It's not gonna buy itself! <laughs> my 14 year old is such a pain in my ass because she still lives with us! I know. She walked in on my husband and I having sex. Good story. I said, don't you not? She goes, you're in the kitchen. I said, what are you doing in the kitchen? I thought I gave you that eating disorder. Now I have to have that long, awkward talk with her. You know the one. I have to tell her she has to move out. I'm kidding. I'm not going to get rid of my best dishwasher. <laughs> I'm kidding again, my son's better because he's stronger. You guys are better than my last crowd. Oh, is that a funeral? <laughs> they don't like it when you tell jokes. They don't like it, too. They really don't like it when you flirt with the widower. <laughs> okay, she's not coming back. She can't hear us. 
and she was dead. Not even fully dead, halfway dead, but she still had the handicap sticker in the car. Fucking annoying. All right. Let's lighten up, all right? So cancer's annoying, am I right? Zodiac sign? Who here's a fucking cancer? Woo! So you're annoying. All right. You know what? You know what? It's the crab. It's the crab. It's the most protective of their mate. And I can say this because my boyfriend was a cancer. The guy I dated was a cancer, right? They're having a conversation about it. They know me too. I'm very famous. My ex-boyfriend was a cancer. And he, was, he was such a pain in my ass. He was up my ass. But the worst part about him was that he hated that he had a husband. What am I going to do with that shit? <laughs> it's okay, I made the right choice. My husband has a much bigger bank account. <laughs> I can prove that everybody's a sexist. You know how? I gotta prove it right now. You guys believe that everybody's a sexist? No? Yes? Yeah. yeah. All right, here goes. All right, there was a plumber in my house fixing the sink. My husband walks in the room. The plumber says, that's your husband? Wow, he's hot. I thought she was really inappropriate. How many of you thought that was a gay guy? <laughs> oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it, I knew it. I like the little delay of laughs. Cute, very cute. Um, you guys see this, uh, this, um, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna tell you about something else. Before the pandemic, I went to this parent-teacher conference. You guys know what that is? Yeah. That's when the parents show the teachers that they give a shit about their kids. So I went and there was this one teacher and she was totally judging me. She looked at me up and down. She goes, what's it like being a stay-at-home mom? I go, excuse me? What makes you think I'm a stay-at-home mom? She goes, uh, your pajamas? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'll have you know that this outfit is a writer's uniform. I write from home. I'm a writer. She goes, oh, who do you write for? I said, I don't, want to bra I don't want to brag or anything, but I write for this really large network. I'm sure you heard of it. It's called Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I upload it on the daily. That's hard work. So she goes, oh, I, uh, I, I go, where did you graduate? She goes, I graduated top of my class at NYU with some Latin sorority shit like master beta come harder. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, you guys see on my kid all day and teach him shit. So the fucking pandemic happened. Guess what? I'm fucking teach your kid all day. I did. <laughs> that should have landed better. That wasn't good. <laughs> I'll leave you with this, you guys. You guys, autocorrect gets me in trouble. You guys have that problem with autocorrect? Like, yeah. 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 My smartphone makes me look dumb. <laughs> I innocently wrote to my grandfather. Hi, Grandpa. I'm coming to town. Are you around? He looked at the, I looked at the phone, and it said, Hi, Grandpa. I'm coming to town. Are you aroused? <laughs> <laughs> My phone knows me so well because <laughs> I say that word a lot. <laughs> and because he's hot. We're 95, guys. He's so cute. He's so cute. I took him to the gym when my grandmother died for moral support. Anybody else do that? You do that too? Yeah, all right. And uh, he said, Victoria, what machine's going to make me sexy and buff for the ladies? I go, you're adorable, Grandpa. It's the ATM machine. Now give me five reps to 20. That boy should buy itself. <laughs> Did you guys see this, this video that went viral? This Arab man from an Arab nation. He... Um, he was 80 years old. He was about to marry a 12 year old girl. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. You guys see this video? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, my God. My first thought was holy shit, this little girl. Oh, my God, poor thing. This, this man's 80 years old. He could die any day. My second thought holy shit, this little girl got selected and inherited at such a young age. Where did we get fat? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my time, guys. Thank you very much. Follow me on Instagram if you want to join the And uh, have a seat, really. Thank you.
for the chance. I was like, wait, what do you want? Uh, I want something for you. Thank you. Oh my god, I love that it's a mixed crowd because I'm about to vent and I need white people. Okay. Yeah. No, I love you guys. Give it up for yourselves, white people. You guys are awesome. No, the reason I say that is because I started working at this new organization and it's predominantly white. You guys are not like them, to be honest. But like the people that I work with, seriously, you're not. The people that I work with, they're like, I don't know. It's like, I'm the only like one of five black people that work at the organization and they're just like, always talking. Do you understand what I mean? Like white people at my job are always talking. Like, and I'm gonna be honest, like black people, give it up for yourselves. Oh, I'm not the school to be. When we go to work, we don't give a fuck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we don't wanna do all that extra shit. We just wanna pay our fucking bills and go on. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're there. But the white people at my job are just like always excited. They want to know like, how's your day going? And like, morning. And see you in the afternoon. <laughs> We're just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> so there's this girl, right? Yeah. It's an actual girl. Her name's Heather. I try to avoid Heather when I get into work. I come in eight o'clock in the morning and I'm like, I don't wake up until like 11. And Heather's like, morning! And I'm like, why is this bitch so happy? It's fucking eight in the morning. So I try to avoid her, and I like run upstairs, and I'm like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and I drop my shit off. And who do I see as I walk in the door? It's Heather. So I was like, all right, let me avoid this bitch. I gotta go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom, someone's in it. I wait five minutes, who comes out? It's fucking Heather. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, we're at the bathroom! I was like, is this bitch doing a bathroom song? Like, I don't need the fucking bathroom song. I just need to take a shit, Heather. <laughs> what is wrong with white people? I love you guys. It's just we have a different culture. Like, black people, we don't have time for the extra shit at work. We just want to get to it. You know what I mean? You guys are part of it. <laughs> we get a bad rap. We're like angry black people. We're not angry. We just got shit on our minds. We got things to do. You guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy. You're happy at work. How's it going? I'm like, I don't know. I just want to go home. <laughs> but like, I'm going to tell you, like, I feel like more black women should be CEOs in like run companies, right? <laughs> I really do. I really do. And not for like obvious reasons, but like we keep it real. Like, <laughs> 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 you know, I understand. This is like a different culture, so I get it. It's different. But you guys are like, you don't get straight to the point sometimes. <laughs> so like my manager, he was like, I have issues. I have things I want to talk to you about. I was like, all right, fine. You know how he told me he had issues and wanted to talk to me about it? <laughs> so he told me the fucking email. The fucking email. So I was like, all right, fine, all right. So there's an email, there's issues. I wrote him back, what's your issue? He's like, we'll talk about it in the meeting on Monday. It was fucking Friday. <laughs> so here I am. Like, what the fuck did I do? Does he know I was high on Tuesday? <laughs> We're at the fucking party on Friday night. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck does Bill have to talk to me about, though? Like, seriously, I couldn't even enjoy my time. I get into the meeting, and Bill's like, do you know why I'm mad at you? I'm like, oh my god. When do I find out why you're mad? Fuck it, I quit, Bill. Like, I don't even want to work here anymore. This is fucking torture. You know who should be the CEO? You know who should be the manager? Fucking Keisha. You know who Keisha is? She's a chick from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, where you at? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. It's how I know Keisha. Keisha is straight to the point. She's like, bitch, come here, I got something to tell you. <laughs> she didn't send emails. Keisha's like, I'm gonna tell you right here in the hallway. I'm like, right here? Right here, Keisha? Like, right now? Keisha's like, what time does work start? 
I'm like, Keisha, 8.30. She's like, stop telling people that. That shit starts at 7.30. <laughs> Sorry, Keisha. My bad. Keisha's like, um, stop calling out on fucking Wednesdays with an emergency. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Keisha, I had an emergency. You know what I mean? She's like, every fucking Wednesday? <laughs> Bitch. I'm like, it's my emergency day. <laughs> sorry, Keisha. But she's straight to the point. No emails, no over the weekend trying to think about what I did wrong. Keisha's like, and I need you to stop using your daughter as an excuse to fucking leave early. Everyone at this job has a child. Except you. It's true, I don't have a daughter. <laughs> Keisha, good. <laughs> she know. I'm like, sorry, Keisha. <laughs> but that's what it is. I just feel like, I just like, I don't, I don't do passive aggression very well. I just need to know like what I did, what's wrong, what's happening. Cause you know what I mean? Like when black people go to work, we have other things on our mind. Like we just had an argument with our boyfriend. On our break, we don't want to go to lunch. We want to call him back and be like, so what the fuck were you saying? <laughs> Not tell me why you said that. You know? That's what our breaks are for. That's not for lunch. <laughs> Continuation. Because we got to get to the bottom of this shit. <laughs> Work's not going to work. But you guys, you guys look happy. Are you guys in relationships? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Clap it up. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just started dating. I don't I don't know. Dating is crazy. I don't know if it's New York or me. It's just weird. But like um guys lie a lot. You guys lie a lot. Fucking How you guys just lie? You should just be fucking liars. You have these fake nice guys. Fucking fake nice guys. <laughs> they lie to you in the beginning. They're like, is it okay if I call you beautiful? I don't fuck what you call me, just call me. <laughs> That's the problem. It's all these guys not calling me. That's why I'm single. And then, and then, especially after sex, I don't know where they go. Where you going? <laughs> <laughs> just here, like, you show up at their house. I'm like, no, you don't get to problem solve now, buddy. I waited. You didn't call, so I showed up. I didn't answer, it's not the cop. Thanks. But um, yeah, I was on Hinge the other day. Anyone who's like online? Yeah. I know, right? Exactly, same sentiment. I use Hinge, and that shit's stupid. Yes. The guy told me, he was like, oh, I'm 6'2", I work at the top law firm. He was cute, he spoke on the phone. I was like, oh, I got a match. We met up, this motherfucker was 5'2", and a paralegal. I'm like, oh. I'm like, that's not what she said, though. I put on the phone like, you fucking false advertising. False advertising. Like, I know this is a blind date, but I can fucking see, bitch. <laughs> And I'm tired of you guys telling me you have 13 inch dicks when shit sucks to get real. No one has a 13 inch dick. Trust me, I've looked. It's fine, you don't even need a fucking 13 inch dick. Just tell me the truth, you know what I mean? And then you guys also lie about being single. And you don't have to lie about that. Most of us don't care anymore. We'll be your side chick. And you don't have to fucking lie. Right? We're the single ladies. Woo! Have you ever been a side chick? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we do it. We do it. But I mean, it becomes annoying though, because like as a side chick, you gotta keep up with this fucking bitch's schedule. You're like, so she takes Pilates at six. Okay, so we meet up at what eight? Oh no, she takes Pilates at seven. All right, fine, whatever. How was it being a side chick? Did you like it? No. What was the worst part? Being on the side, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what I'm working on.
working on? I'm working on relationships. I don't know. I don't know how you guys do it, these relationships. You guys complain too fucking much. <laughs> After a while, it's like, oh, you don't listen to me. You don't hear what I say when I tell you things. I don't know. That's what my last ex said. He said more, but I stopped fucking listening. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know. That's why relationships don't last long for me. Because it's like, they just start complaining and it started off pretty cool, right? Yeah, they don't know. They're still fucking. <laughs> like, they're just trying to get pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, you don't know my dreams. Do you know your partner's dreams? <laughs> exactly, she doesn't fuck you. I have no idea. We don't care. But you know what you do when shit starts to get really bad in the relationship? You give relationship saving head. <laughs> <laughs> Regular head. Oh, it's three in the morning. Hurry up. I'm fucking tired. Relationship saving head. Oh, you had a bad day? Yeah. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> that shit holds you over for about another three months. <laughs> anyway, that's my time. Shell's funny. Follow me on Instagram. Keep the show moving. Up next, very funny guy. He's got a documentary coming out uh, next month. He said, "Clap for J Dub, everybody." J Dub. It's not a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I do right now? <laughs> what's up, everybody? Hey. Oh, I said, what's up, everybody? I know you guys waited to see me, right? <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Dove. And um, I'm just going to get it straight. My mother is from Jamaica, my father's Italian, so that makes me a Rastaroni. <laughs> I'm the only guy you know that can say bada bing, bada boom, club. <laughs> the best thing about having a face like this is meeting Spanish women. Any Spanish women here? There we go. And it was different. <laughs> you know how you guys get down. You know when it's, when it's getting hit, right? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say it for you. <laughs> they start going, hi. Hi. Hi, see. I start looking around, what does she see? Hi. Hi, see, puppy. I jumped out of bed, threw on my clothes, and like, I can't meet your father like this. <laughs> Don't worry, the rest of y'all get it later. <laughs> I see means, oh yes. So, she was calling me Poppy. What's up, everybody? I really shouldn't be up here tonight, having a bad week. And uh, I gotta find a way to make up to my girl. Because I stormed out the house yesterday, ain't been back since. <laughs> Maybe some of y'all give me some advice about the problem I'm in. See, came home, was trying to get some, and she's telling me no. I'm like, why not? She says, my friend downstairs. So I stormed out the house. I'm like, yeah, you <laughs> cheating on me. <laughs> And then later on, I found out she was talking about a period. Uh. <laughs> so I got to find a way to make it up to her and the guy downstairs. Uh. <laughs> he called the cops on me, too, so I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's her on the phone right now. Uh. Hello, baby. What? She's leaving me. And I know why. It's because I'm fat, right? Look, you wanna know when you know when you're fat? When you walk down the street and hot dog vendors wave at you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you really wanna know when you're fat? When your favorite restaurant call you up to my, why you know order this week? <laughs> I think you do all right. <laughs> no, it's not that. I know why, it's because of Christmas last year, right? 
You got me telling all my business. Last year I found out the truth about Santa Claus. See, I didn't know Santa was really a, a pimp. And then it came to me. What other man you know walks around with a red suit talking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, it's not that. Come on. I know you like. Does my pinky look little to you? Does it? Does my pinky look little? It's a regular size pinky. What do you mean? Look down? Yeah. <laughs> She's talking about my pinky toe, okay? My pinky toe. <laughs> oh, baby, you know what I like. Little brown cherry with them pretty lips and that gorgeous hair hanging down. There's music when she talk, the way those hips move when she walk. Make your jaw hang down to the ground. But there ain't nothing in the world like a big butt girl that made me laugh like it's funny. Go shopping with all my money. Get caught up in a trance and think it's romance. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, you know what I like. Thank you, people. Thank you. Oh man, they really gave me the stage. <laughs> but I can come back and do five more. Turn up. Can you do five more? Do it. I mean, you could have waited for a lot. <laughs> All right, folks. All right. Well, that was him. Okay. A few people leave it right up front. Cool, cool. I promise we only got like four more. They might as well stick around, man. Ain't nothing. The sun bag will have it out there. Go up 8th Avenue. Don't go down 9th, okay? That ain't what you want. Well, some of y'all, that's what you want. God bless. <laughs> All right, keep the show rolling. Up next, a very funny guy. Uh, he's a new New York native New Yorker. I'm fucking his intro all up. Very funny, performs all over. Clap for Jay Mariah, everybody. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Cool. Round of applause for yourself, sticking it out. <laughs> nah, seriously, man. 2021, yo. Fucking crazy. Can we give a round of applause for 2021? We almost done here, y'all. It's all Seriously. A lot of crazy shit happened this year. What do y'all think is the craziest shit that happened this year? Coke. <laughs> nah, that don't count. That was last year. You gotta get specific, but I feel you. Ongoing, ongoing. What about y'all? What y'all think is the craziest thing that happened in 2021? Could be personal, could be in the world. January 6th. <laughs> what? what? Too many? Choose one. You got Astro, options. What did you say? Astro World. Thing. Astro World, okay. Yeah, Choosing yeah, the most recent one. What's up? January 6th. My shoes are the craziest thing in the year? Uh, they're 3D printed. See, I'm in the future. I'm in the future already. My sneakers is 3D printed. I'm doing, hey, I'm doing different hey, things hey, out here. He's on his own trip. <laughs> yeah, print, 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 print your own trip. Print your own trip. Hey, hey, you heard hey. it here first for real. You know what I'm saying? Okay, fair enough. You know, y'all you, you know what I think is the craziest thing that happened this year? Trump being president. You keep going back in time. <laughs> I like it, I like it, man. That's some back to the future shit. Nah, seriously, bro. You know what the craziest thing I think that happened this year? Fucking Bill Cosby got freed from jail. That was in June. Y'all forgot, that was in June. End of June, June 30th. Motherfucker walked out of jail, bro. That shit was dope. I don't have nothing to say about uh, why he was in jail. <laughs> but I'm 27 years old, black man, man. Seeing a nigga walk out of jail is inspiring <laughs> shit. <laughs> I seen that, I feel like I feel like when I seen that, I was like, damn, we might as well have I Believe I Can Fly walking behind him. Nah, don't, don't, nah. R. Kelly, R. Kelly in jail for real. He need to stay there. He, he doing hell in the soul for real, man. <laughs> You're wrestling. Nah, seriously. Y'all think y'all think when Bill Cosby got out of jail, like like he walked out to the Cosby team? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? He was doing the ding ding ding. You know what I'm saying? Like he can't be free. That's, that's money. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, man. Nah, 2021 is fucking weird, man. You know, we get hacked out here. We get hacked. Any of y'all got hacked? Nah. Your friends got hacked? Oh, y'all got, got your, got your two factor authentication <laughs> and all of that. 
Y'all got y'all got symbols in your passwords. I respect it. I respect it. My Instagram got hurt. We learning. We learning. We doing better. We the generation that's gonna save them. You know what I'm <laughs> No, seriously, I like the hacks though. I like the hacks. You know why I like the hack? The hack lets you know who's who's really there for you. Seriously. You get hacked, what happens? You know what I'm saying? You get hacked, you start sending messages to people. Hey. Do you want to triple your income in two days? Send me a social security card right now. What do you do? What do you do when you see that message? Like, whoop, like that shit. <laughs> like all three words. No response. G shit. Thank you, Moses. Woo! Ha <laughs> Wait, put the pinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a record, it's like, some people, when you get hacked, they let you know. They let you know right away. Yo, you got hacked. You got hacked, you got hacked, you got hacked, bro. Figure your shit out. Now you see the message. Oh shit, I got hacked. I got hacked, I got hacked. Oh yo, guys, I got hacked. What do you do? Go to your story. Yo, I got hacked, guys. You got a weird message from me, I got hacked. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm telling you, yo, you got hacked, bro. You got hacked, man. It's been a minute. Yo, thank you, bro. It's been a minute. We should hang out again. Bro. I know. Figure yourself out, though. Figure yourself out. Figure yourself out. Nah, the hack is cool, man. I like the hack. I want the hacker to be productive, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I get hacked, I would want my hacker to send like, I want my hacker to send the Sean Paul video to all my followers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just give it a lie. Just give it a lie. You're like, hey man, oh yo, that, I got hacked. I got hacked, guys. I got hacked. I was, I know you. My phone was buzzing. Everybody like, yo, fire, fire, fire. I got hacked. I got hacked, guys. That was good times though. We should hang again. We should hang again. Now I'm having fun. I'm having fun tonight. I won't even lie. I won't even lie at all, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, it's just getting weird in 2021. We're reconnecting with people, you know? We all kind of distance ourselves, separated, and I'm coming back together. It's crazy. It's weird because I'm hanging out with my friends, and all my friends is deep now. Like, all my friends is deep, and their memories is like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's super like, whoa, now. <laughs> Shit is nuts, man. I won't even lie. Like, I go on my Instagram, I see my friends talking, I see my friends posting. Everybody's motivation, like, yo, guys, one more day out here, let's get it, let's do it. You like that? I'm like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Some of my friends want to get more more intricate. They want to get do their own shit. My friend talking about, hey y'all, I just want to let y'all know on this day today, sometimes in life, sometimes in life it rains, man. So, so be aware of that. I'm like, I'm like sometimes, it, sometimes in life it rains, like. You can't, you can't, you can't control that. You can't claim that. You can't take credit for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit ridiculous. I see one of my friends, he's like, yo, guys, I want to let y'all know this is me vibrating higher right now. You are one second older than your last breath on this <laughs> earth. <laughs> oh, yo. We doing breaths now? <laughs> we doing breaths. I thought we was doing days, months, and years. We doing breaths now? <laughs> How does that work? How does that work? I smoke a lot. Like, is that extra breaths? When I smoke a lot, is that extra breaths? Does that make me older? What if I hold my breath right now? Like, pfft. am I making myself? What if I breathe real hard? <laughs> is that extra breaths? How are we counting? How are we counting the breaths? How are we counting the breaths? Are we doing inhales or exhales? I don't know. Nah, man, shit is weird. It's weird hanging out with friends because they always remember shit you don't remember. You know what I'm saying? I'm hanging out with my homie. We about to leave. He's like, Yo, Joy, you remember? Remember when we rode them horses? Remember when we rode them horses and fought the Indians, man? We had to help them fight for their land and all of that, bro. We gotta do that again, bro. We gotta do that again. I'm like, we didn't do that, bro. That wasn't us, man. He's like, yo, Joy, remember when we stole them UFOs? Bro, we stole them UFOs. Them aliens were so mad, man. Them aliens were so mad, bro. We gotta do that again. I'm like, bro, that wasn't me. You didn't invite me to that shit at all. He's like, yo, Joy, remember when we. Remember when we found that pot of gold, man? Remember when we found that pot of gold? We saw that leprechaun was so mad, man. Black leprechaun, he looked like Shaq, though. That was scary. We gotta do that again, man. We gotta get a pot of gold. That's been my time, dog. I appreciate it, bro. All right, clap for Jay, don't forget that wine, baby. Keeping it rolling.
up next, very funny guy. Uh, check him out on Smokes and Jokes Comedy Show. Clap for O'Hee, everybody. O'Hee. Yeah. Yeah, y'all can do better than that. Come on, give it up. What's up, Dylan? What's up, baby? What's up, y'all? How y'all feel? Y'all good? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with the New Yorker guys. Any New Yorkers in the building? Yeah, be in New York and you get a lot of unpopular opinions. I got a lot of unpopular opinions, so y'all know. First off, I'm an anti-masker. My lips is too big. The mask is too small. Basically what I'm saying is I like raw dog in the air. I need a double XL Magnum mask. That's what I want, y'all. Y'all shut y'all asses up in the back and do these jokes, nigga. You know all the hate and shit, you know what talk in the back, nigga. Let me do these jokes. Talk with your inside voice, nigga. Excuse me, sir. I'm yeah. sorry, I apologize. No, nah, you good, you good. He had a big old dread hat on, too. He was like, yo. <laughs> What up, Dreddy? Uh, I got these shoes on. I feel like a classic man. Hey. I realize I'm getting older because I can't dance anymore. I used to be good at dancing. Now all my dances look like this. I'm a classic man. All right, white people, we'll see y'all later. Uh, oh. So, okay, co colonize and leave. Colonize and leave. Again with the deep voice in the back. You should hear that voice. Whisper, nigga, whisper those jokes. Those goodbye salutations. Um, I do got a lot of unpopular opinions. I realize that, y'all. You know what I mean? First, number one unpopular opinion. Both don't get enough credit, y'all. Testicles, they don't get enough credit. I'm telling you, fellas. Okay, sure, they are the incubator for our future children. Yes. But also, also, they are a pretty accurate thermometer. True. True. Cold. Hot. <laughs> oh, hey! What's the weather like outside? It's cold, y'all. Cold. Also, they are a discreet metronome. <laughs> I was in 6'8, I ain't know, right? <laughs> also, balls are one of your most biggest support system. You're gonna be hitting from the back with the balls, too. Let's talk hot for you. Stay in ovation out this bitch. I got a lot of unpopular opinions. I like the finer things in life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dunkin' Donuts, avocado toast. Ooh, y'all ever had it? The Dunkin' Donuts? The donuts. It's French. <laughs> and you know what's good? Because when you bite into it, your face do this, you're like, hey. You know shit is good when your face do it, hey. I was mad though, I went to the Dunkin' Donuts and the barista there, the barista, yeah, the barista, he messed up my order. I had me a Dawson girl with me and he gave me a light coffee. You know what I mean? And everybody know a man likes his coffee like he likes his woman. Don't matter what flavor. I bring in a pizza New York though, I want a dark coffee. I bring in Beyonce, I want some milk. I bring in Anne Hathaway, I want just milk. You know, give me a flat white, yo. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Money is crazy. We have to pay money to rent a place to sleep. <laughs> That's wild. Who was the first person who thought of that? Was there a caveman like, I'm going to turn this to an ASCNC? Caves and carvings, yeah. Maybe Jesus, he was like, man, this manger got to do something, man. Everybody getting their bill and shit. This nigga dropping bills. They talking about the background. I don't know. I'm doing my job, y'all. I'm doing my job. It's Kai's birthday today. I wanted to, you know I was going to do this. Man. Yeah. 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 
get up on stage right now. This is, this is why I do comedy, because I got a go. Guys, get on stage right now, yo. Come on, come on, get on stage. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. All right, you take that right in the top. We're going to do this. Come on. This is, yo, this is Kyle right here. Sister. It's her birthday today right now, so we're going to all sing her happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we gonna do the black version. Black version. Yeah. 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 Do, you know, do you know the black version? She, she was like, black version, what? Yeah. I did not get the memo of it. It's yeah. the Steve, the Stevie Wonder version. Okay, that's the black version. Okay, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's on YouTube. 
So if you ever want to smoke weed with me, you can watch me on YouTube. Okay. Hashtag the podcast, no vowels. Um, I got a show called Black, Black Movies for My White Friends. We show black movies and talk over it like a bootleg movie from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a funny concept, right? It's, it's so funny. Um, <laughs> uh, yo, I'm always, man, yo, everybody can't fit on a yacht. So when I have like, you know, intimate crowds like this, you gotta realize everybody, everybody can't fit on the yacht. <laughs> so I'm glad y'all was able to get on the yacht tonight. <laughs> have a good night. I'm gonna hit the Thank you. so I could use it. I'm like, this is the same person that put her panties in a microwave so they would dry faster. I don't to trust you with that information. Pander. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. You guys. <laughs> Princess, you know, that stuff. And I was, um, I was drunk 
We met up with her mom later. She was uh, dressed. She was uh, what do you call it? A dumb bitch. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, into an argument like we always fucking get into, and it's every fucking time we get in an argument. It's like about rape. It's like about her. Like she wants to raise her one way. And I want to raise her because of court orders. So we can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it always gets intense. And she's like, oh, see, you know, we would have had another kid, but she made me get rid of it. It's your fault. I knew it would have been a boy. I always wanted a boy. And I'm like, whoa, slow down. How did you know our baby boy didn't want to be a baby girl or non gender or something? Like, you got to open your mind. I'm, I'm pro choice and pro noun. You got to be either one. <laughs> so we spend time together. We always spend time together. I just bought us tickets for Astro World. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be alright. You're gonna be cool. Right? She just, she just, it's because like I'm a struggling artist. What the claim this is. Which just means I'm poor but clever. <laughs> so, you know, and it's like, I knew it was bad because, like, the other day I, I had the positive dollar, so my account went closed and it went through. But I forgot that's how much it costs to use the machine. So, as soon as it went in, it was gone, like, immediately. Like, like, a, like a bad idea or like a good miscarriage. You got it and it was out of it. <laughs> So goddamn poor. The other day for dinner, I had a vitamin because I didn't have anything left. It, it, was, it was sad. I thought like I thought cocaine was like a co-payment. Like ah, nice try. You're not gonna get me. It's good not to get you the last step again. Uh, da da da. Arguing with love. Uh, how about a hand for the other comedians you saw up here? I know the guy behind me is going to say that, but oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll uh, just end up telling them about myself. I got a cat recently, guys. I broke down and I did. I got a cat, and she's a rescue. So like she's better than the other cats. Like I, I rescued her from a bodega, which I don't know if you didn't notice. The cats don't work there, guys. You could just take them. Next day, they already had like a, another cat. <laughs> and it was better than the one I took. <laughs> I always wanted a cow though. Oh, shit. Because the one I took is weird as shit. She like follows me everywhere. I go in the kitchen, she's there. The bedroom, she's there. It's like she just follows. Like she follows me like how R. Kelly follows a school bus. Everywhere I see go. Anyway, do you want some good time? Okay, we have a ventriloquist coming out with the puppets. We have Santa Claus coming out. We have um, uh, A.G. White from Deaf Comedy Jam coming out. Okay, so we, and some other special guests. So I want you guys to, to come out too, okay? Plus me. Awesome, man. This fucking guy, Ron, chocolate, dessert, Sunday. Thank you. 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 Thank
I'm just gonna do this impersonation and I'm gonna let you guys go, okay? Sounds fair? Yeah. Woo! All right. All right. You gotta laugh though. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but uh, here's an impersonation of a squirrel that has seven children and is defending himself in his child support case. <laughs> I know it's a lot to take in, but trust me. All right? I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? All right? It's a cold, cold world. I'm just trying to get a nut. <laughs> okay? I admit, I admit I was one of the more greedier squirrels. Instead of one nut, I got seven. Okay? That's my case in a nutshell. Good, I remember yesterday, thanks. The right, last thing I wanna say is, um, uh, normally when people see people who are pregnant, they say, congratulations. Right? And I see uh, a woman that's pregnant, I say, she just got a nut. <laughs> right? What's the need to, to congratulate her for, you know what I'm saying? Nobody congratulates me, you know? I used to visit my wife and everything and go see her. And nobody stops me and say, hey, congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. You know, how you feel? You know, my back hurt, my feet swollen, my ankles. Yeah. When did you bus? Oh. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. <laughs> you going to have a shower? I you know my wife's having a shower right now, but I'm walking home. <laughs> yeah, man. And then, you know, they gave my wife a baby shower. But nobody gave me a shower. You know, so I guess maybe you could say I was a bit bitter because I kept telling the same joke the whole night. You know, people coming up to her and they congratulate her. Congratulations. I'm like, no, it's okay. You know, she just got a nut. <laughs> That's why they call it a shower. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm out of here. Enjoy this car. Thank you for coming here. Yeah.